What? It's behind me. <laughs> what is up, Epic Gamers? What was that? Well, okay. Today, I have a awesome opening for you guys. I have one of the sets that I've been looking forward to so much. Because we are opening Legend Duelist 5 which contains support for uh, Bakura's deck, as you can see on the front of the box. We have a new Dark Necrofear card and two new support cards. We have new Evil Heroes, we have new Gimmick Puppets, we have new support for Earthbound Immortals, and last but not least, we have new support for Prada Plants. So a lot of cards for the villains from various Yu-Gi-Oh! series. And I thought, why not open a booster box of this set? Because I think we're gonna pull some Pretty great cards from this. Just a hunch though. So let's open this baby up. So we have the box. And look at that amazing artwork on it. It's definitely gonna keep this one. Instead of just throwing it away. And then if I'm correct we're gonna get 15 packs. 15 packs of awesomeness. Man look at the artwork on these. Well call me weird. But I kind of want to keep these uh, packs, so I'm uh, opening them with a scissor. The only bad thing is we have to cut through Dark Necrofear's head. Ah! So, first pack, what do we get? We have the Moon Dragon Quila, Gimmick Puppet Humpty Dumpty, Junk Puppet, Fire Ant Escator. Ooh, and Puppet Parade for our first rare, which is one of the new Gimmick Puppet support cards. Pack numero dos. We have one of the Preda Plant Fusions, Magnet Doll, Moon, uh, Sun Dragon Inti, uh, Diabound Colonel, and Reaper Oracle of Supai, which is one of the new Earthbound Immortal and the Moon and Sun Dragon support. Really nice looking card. So I really can't wait to see when we get this set in the TCG. Uh, so far nothing has been announced that I know of. So we have E-Hero Infernal Prodigy and one of the new Preda Plant cards. Preda Planning. And it has the new three-headed Preda Plant dragon on it, which is an ultra rare in the set. No foils so far, so I hope uh, we can catch up on that a little bit. I don't really know what the ratios are. I've seen uh, three supers and two ultras, but I don't know if that's guaranteed. <gasps> yes, we have one of my favorite new cards. Uh, gimmick Puppet Bisque Doll. And um, Gimmick Puppets, just like Skull Servants, are one of my all-time favorite decks. And I was so excited to see that they got new support in this set. And we got one of the new level 8 monsters. The effect for this card is... Uh, you can special summon this card uh, from your hand by discarding another Gimmick Puppet monster. So you can discard stuff like uh, Terror Baby. Um, that's also a new card, we'll probably see this in this video. Um, but also Dreary Doll or anything else that activates in the grave. So it's a free special summon basically. Uh, and then you can banish this card from your graveyard uh, this turn. Your opponent cannot target gimmick puppet monsters you control with card effects. So the only downside on these is they're not quick. The, the grave effects are not quick effects. You only can activate them uh, during your turn. And the rare for this pack is the new Preda Plant Fusion card, which is like their own polymerization basically. It's called Preda Prime Fusion. Definitely gonna sleeve this one up. Our first super rare of the box. As a doll collector you need to keep your dolls in pristine condition. Next pack we have another number 40. We have another Preda Plant card. We have Dark Sanctuary. What if we kissed in the Dark Sanctuary? Uh, we have the evil hero Infernal Gainer, and we have 
Envoy Oracle of Escator. Another support for the uh, Sun and Moon Dragons, making it super easy to bring them out. And it's an insect, so you know I love that. With that big juicy ant on the artwork. So in this set, the commons are all reprints and the rares or higher are all the new cards. So we have Diebound Colonel again and another Earthbound Immortal card called the Ultimate Earthbound Immortal. Only one foil so far. Really curious to see what else we can pull. We have Dark Calling, which is an excellent reprint for the evil heroes. We have Gimmick Puppet Dreary Doll, one of the really cool cards in the deck. We have Magnet Doll. And we have one of the new Evil Hero spell cards. It's called Evil Mind, which features uh, Inferno Wing on the artwork. So unlike uh, TCG boxes, um, OCG boxes are pretty cheap. They have 15 packs each with 5 cards and they're around $25. We have another uh, Preda Plant Fusion and one of the new cards for Bakura, Dark Spirit of the Malice. Really cool artwork on these. They're like a combination of all the uh, old normal monsters uh, Bakura used, like the Portrait Secret, Headless Knight. We have another Humpty Dumpty sitting on a wall. Destroy, Dark Fusion, ooh, we have the Gimmick Puppet Ultra Rare, Gimmick Puppet Gigantes Doll, really nice. Probably one of the least valuable Ultras in this set, but you know, I'm a Gimmick Puppet fan, so I'm actually really happy with this. Uh, this card requires two level 4 Gimmick Puppets, so it works perfectly uh, with Humpty Dumpty or Scissor Arms. Uh, you can detach two materials from this guy and uh, target up to two monsters your opponent controls and take control of them. So you're actually stealing two monsters from your opponents just by uh, summoning this card and detaching two materials. And for the rest of this turn you cannot special summon monsters except for gimmick puppets. Okay, understandable. Um, and you cannot declare attacks except with XC monsters. Okay. And you can tribute this card and make every monster you control become level 8 until the end of this turn. So he steals your opponent's monsters so you can make them into your gimmick puppet XCs, which is really cool. Oh, we didn't get a rare in this pack? Oh, that's, that's weird. Okay, so we didn't get a rare in this pack, just a foil. We'll sleeve him up again. So we're on two foils so far, both Gimmick Puppet foils. And actually, those are all the Gimmick Puppet foils there are. Yeah, just two, I think. We have Oracle of the Sun, E-Hero Malicious Edge, Dark Necrofear, but we're actually looking for Cursed Necrofear, the upgraded version. Ooh, wow! That's amazing! Last time I checked, this was the um, most expensive card in the set. This is... Dark Occultism, which is, um, it doesn't really show up on camera that well, but it's uh, super rare for the Bakura deck. Uh, you can discard one card, then add one Destiny board or one level 8 Fiend type monster from your deck or graveyard to your hand. Uh, and then during your main phase, except the turn this was sent to the graveyard, you can banish it from your graveyard and place any number of destiny board and or spirit message cards with different names from your hand and or graveyard on the bottom of your deck in any order and then draw the same number of cards. That's pretty good. It does force you to use destiny board which isn't that good. But um, hey, it's such a wow. I'm really lucky with these pulls. All the cards I wanted. If we pull... Curse Necrofear, I have all the cards I wanted from this. And our rare is the Supreme King's Castle, the new field spell for evil heroes. Actually based on uh, the Supreme King's Castle from the anime where Jaden goes all evil-like. Let's sleeve up this dark occultism before we get cursed. Wow. Too bad the foil doesn't really show up on this. Trust me, it's a super rare. <laughs> it, it just doesn't look like it. Man, I'm pulling the supers that I want and one of the ultras that I want. Now if we can pull Curse Necrofear, we're good to go. E-Hero, Infernal Prodigy, Malicious Edge, a plant, 
An ant. Oh, that rhymes. Exciting. Ooh, and we have death sentence. Yeah, that's definitely gonna get changed in the TCG, but for now its name is, yeah, death sentence with dark necrofear uh, operating the Ouija board. I mean, I kind of wish this was a foil instead of dark occultism because the art is so badass, but... But hey, you can't have everything, right? So we have a few more packs to go, four, including this one. So let's see what we can get. We have another Junk Puppet, Oracle of the Sun. We have these hands. We have Doom Caliber Knight. Ooh, and we have Gimmick Puppet, Terror Baby. A goo goo gaga to you too. We have another Evil Hero, a Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. We have another Predator Plant. Ooh, and we have the Predator Plant Super Rare Monster. It's called um, Predator Plant Helium Forincus. Pretty cool looking. They're, if you're new to Predator Plants, they're basically dinosaurs that photosynthesize, kind of. They're like plants that look like dinosaurs, which is a really cool concept. Um, maybe I'll build them someday. And we have, ooh, we have Perform Puppets with some amazing artwork of Dreary Dolls, Scissor Arms, Humpty Dumpty and a menacing shadow of number 40 in the background. Let's sleeve up this foil as well. You have to take good care of your plants, people. So we have another Moon Dragon Quilla. Malicious Edge, which uh, in the TCG, the ultimate rare is like insane right now. We have number 40. And we have another Predator Plant, and ooh, we have the Super Priest for the Earthbound deck. So here we have the new Ultra Rare for the Earthbound Immortals. That's amazing. Earthbound Overwalker, or as his Japanese name was, Earthbound Super Priest. Um, if you control a Synchro Monster and have a Synchro Monster in your graveyard, you can special summon this card from your hands. Ooh, that's pretty nice. During your main phase, you can add one Earthbound Immortal monster from your deck or graveyard to your hand. That's also really good. If an Earthbound Immortal monster is normal summoned while you control this monster, um, you can have your opponent's life points become 3000. You can only use each effect of Earthbound Overwalker 1. That's pretty good. And it also looks really cool too. These are some uh, great support cards for these older decks. Earthbound Overwalker. Or as we call it in Holland, Earthbound Overloper. So we have... We have our last pack here. Um, well, we pulled two Ultras and three Supers, so I think we're done. But maybe the box will surprise us, I don't know. We have Zoma the Spirit. E-Hero Infernal Gainer. Ooh, and we have Dark Spirit of Denial. Well, luckily, I'm not in denial when saying we got some amazing pulls from this box. So I kind of want to check if we actually got every rare in the set just from one box. Because I think we did. So we got Puppet Parade, the Reaper Oracle. Uh, the new Predator Plant card, Predator Prime Fusion, the Sun's Oracle, we have the new Urban Immortal Trap card, we have the two Evil Hero spells, we got another Spirit of Malice, Death Sentence, Terror Baby, Perform Puppet, and Spirit of Denial. So, no doubles in the rares, and I think we got all of them. So yeah, guys, I just checked, and we actually got all 13 rares from this set, just from one box. So I think you're actually guaranteed every single rare if you buy one box, which is really cool. TCG doesn't really do that. And for our foils, we got the new Predator Plant monster as a super rare. We got Gimmick Puppet Bisque Doll. We got Dark Occultism, which to date is the most expensive card in the set. Of course, after the Ghost Rare Raigeki. Um, we have the Earthbound Overwalker and Gimmick Puppet Gigantes Doll for our Ultra Rares. Well guys, as you might have noticed, I love this set. 
And uh, I hope you also loved this video and loved seeing what I got out of this box. If you haven't already, please subscribe, maybe leave a comment on your favorite archetype that's in this set. Do you like the Earthbounds? Do you like the Dark Necrophere support? Do you like the gimmick puppets? Do you like the evil heroes? I think those are a pretty big fan favorite. Let me know. But for now, goodbye. See you next time.